Hi guys, today I'm coming to you with my weekly favorites and fails. Now, this week luckily I only had one fail, but if you want to see the items that I was loving during the week, keep on watching. Okay, so the first item I've been loving is from Maybelline, and that is a foundation, and it is the Dream Liquid Mousse. And I've been absolutely loving this. I'm in the shade Creamy Natural, which is light five. Now, I will say about this is their shades, they do have a good range of shades. The only thing is that I kind of mit, like fit into the mediums and into the lights, which is kind of tough to pick one. But I am going with this one because it had more of a neutral tone versus like some of them had more pinky tones in the medium shades. But I've been really enjoying this. It's what I'm wearing today. And I absolutely love this. Now I was looking for a new drugstore foundation just because I'm off my no buy for no foundations. And I was looking at this one, but it was the only one that didn't say like if it was for dry or combination skin or anything like that, which they usually have little labels on them. And when I went in, I was like, okay, I'm not going to buy it right away. I went home, researched it and found out a lot of people with dry skin actually really like this. So I picked this up on Monday and have used it all week long. So I really highly recommend this. And I believe I paid eight, seven or eight dollars for it. I got it right, I get a discount. So if you are looking for this, um, sometimes they have Maybelline, buy one, get one half off. So it's a great deal. Okay, my next favorite for the week is going to be the Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light 03. And this is from NYX. And it looks like this. Now, I don't know if this is the same as the concealer in a jar. If it is, let me know down below if they just read the packaging or something. Because it just says concealer on the front. So I don't know, but it is really creamy. I am enjoying this for under my eyes, which is weird because, you know, it looks pretty thick when you first pick it up. Like, look how thick that is. So I didn't know if it'd be like too much for my eyes, but so far I'm really enjoying it. Okay, the next item I've been loving is from Physicians Formula, and that's the MAC Collection Eyeshadow Quad in Canyon Classics. And it looks like this, and I absolutely love this. Now, my first concern with this was that these two browns are very similar. Outside the packaging, they look almost identical. So I actually almost picked this up about three or four times, and then I went ahead and grabbed it, and when I got it home, I was thoroughly surprised that they are not very similar at all. One is much deeper and really neutral. So I really, really love this. I've worn this three or four times this week already. I'm not wearing it today, then it's one day I'm not wearing it. And I really love the highlight shade and the gray shade. Oh, I'm lying, I'm wearing the gray shade today. Ah, I'm lying, see, so I've been wearing it all week. So I really, really love this and I highly, highly recommend this. And the next item I've been loving is from Makeup Forever. Now, this is going to be my first Makeup Forever blush. I do own other products from them, but I've never tried their blushes, and to my surprise, they're only four shades. And this is what it looks like. This is the one I picked up and I love, and it's number 10. I've been really just wanting a soft pink shade. I was so surprised when swatching the four shades they do have how pigmented there are. There's one that's like a bright coral color, and like one swatch would be like bam on your cheeks. So this is the one I ended up going with since it was the one I was kind of looking for. And it's in number 10, if I can get a good swatch for you guys. It's really, really light, which is what I wanted, so I'm going to have to swatch this quite a few times for it to show up for you guys. Because I just want something that gives a nice flush to the cheek, but that was just a simple pink. So I really, really love this. And these are quite pricey. This was about $25, I believe. I think with tax and everything, it's like 26 something. But this is going to last me a long time because it is pigmented and it is something that I would constantly reach for. So I highly recommend this as well. And the next items I've been loving for the week are a lip combo. I have worn this quite a few times. And it is my MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in Coral Bliss. You guys know I love this. It's been in favorites before. And I will swatch it for you guys. I absolutely love it. It's so, it's like a perfect coral, but it's not so bam in your face. You feel like you can't wear it with every eye look. I like that it kind of goes from day to night. It's very versatile. And with that, I've been loving the NYX Butter Gloss and Apple Strudel. And you guys know that I love the butter glosses. Since they came out, I picked up Eclair, which I highly recommend. It's a beautiful light pink. This one is a beautiful peach shade. It says apple strudel, but to me it looks more peachy toned. So I really like those two together. And I like that they don't, one doesn't overpower the other. They kind of just blend seamlessly together. And I really enjoy this. And you can get these for like $5.99 at Ulta. And my next favorite for the week is an item I've actually loved since I was 18 years old. And that is the L'Oreal's Nature Therapy Mega Moisture Nurturing Cream. Now, I love the one in the brighter yellow, yellow packaging, but they're basically kind of the same thing. This one is just for very dry, chemically processed hair. And I think the other one is might be a step down. But I've... I used to use this all the time when I'd bleach my hair and stuff like that, and it always kept my hair so, so soft, and it smells amazing. Like, I wish this had smell-o-vision. And it's so thick, I got on my lip. 
and it looks like that. And I love this. I just picked this up from Sally's. They're actually having a great deal if you can get it. The one I usually get was all sold out. If you bought the four, no, it was the eight ounce. If you bought the eight ounce, you got a free shampoo, which this is a pretty extensive line for Sally's. This one is the 16 ounce and it's normally $14.99 and I got it for $8 because I had a $5 coupon. So that's awesome. So if you guys can go check this out, look for it at your local Sally's. And the next two items are going to be one that is a complete fail and one that I'm still on the fence about. And the one I'm still on the fence about is the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Now I picked this up after seeing Melissa. I will link her channel below. I believe she raved about this. And I got this from Ulta and I loved the wand that she showed exactly how it looked because it kind of rem reminded me of the Benefit Their Real wand because it has like the little tassel things on the end. And I, I'm kind of on the fence about it because it kind of clumped on me a little bit and it kind of felt like it dried really, really quickly. So, and I'm kind of somebody, I like in between wet and dry. I don't like mascaras that are too dry or anything like that, but it is okay. I know that I've only used it once, so I know that, you know, after you open them, sometimes they can get better, so that's why I'm on the fence about this one. So I'll continue to use it, and if I like it, I will let you guys know. And then the one that was the complete fail is from Revlon, which I'm really surprised, and that is the Photo Ready 3D Volume Mascara. I wanted a waterproof mascara because my Estee Lauder 8-Hour Cream, which I put around my eyes, was actually making my lashes droop. Now, my lashes naturally curl, but it that's how bad it was that it's actually really heavy and caused my lashes to droop. So I went and got a waterproof mascara because I don't own any waterproof mascaras. And I was so disappointed in this one because one, it is so watery. And the formulation, it just doesn't really put anything onto your lashes. It's so watery that it just kind of goes and goes and then it gets clumpy. So I I wasn't loving this. So I'm probably, I'm going to I'm not going to return it or anything like that, but I probably will not use it again. So there you have it. Those are my favorites and fails for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed everything I told you about and what to avoid, and I will talk to you next time.